So you're thinking about buying an Airbnb in Mammoth, but does it still make sense? Prices have gone up so much at Mammoth Mountain in the last five years. Can you still buy an Airbnb for a million dollars, $1.5 million, even $2 million, and make money on the investment? Because guess what? That's what we all want to do, right? Well, the Ritz have just moved in. They're building homes. So if it's good enough for the Ritz, maybe it's good enough for us. So today, in this video, I'm going to crunch all the numbers see what Airbnbs are renting for, see how much you have to pay in order to get a good Airbnb, and see if it makes sense. It's literally a numbers game. We're not gonna be leading with our hearts, we're gonna be leading with our heads. And if the numbers make sense, Mammoth is a great place to buy. I stayed in an Airbnb a month ago uh, with some friends. The Airbnb was just purchased for 1.9 million. We were there three nights, it cost us $4,000 to, um, to rent. And right now I'm in Mammoth doing this video. I'm actually staying in a hotel because the Airbnbs were too expensive. Who would have thought an Airbnb these days would be more expensive than a Mammoth hotel? So I have a feeling these figures might be pretty juicy. So right, let's get to the video. Let's start crunching some numbers and let's see how much money you can make. Okay, I made it back from Mammoth Mountain. They just broke the all-time record for the most snow ever in a year or in a season. Um, they're up to 700 inches right now. So in honor of that and having a great time the last few days up in Mammoth, I'm going to crunch some numbers today. Does it make sense to buy an Airbnb in Mammoth? So I'm going to look at properties $650,000, $850,000 and $1.7 million. Does it make sense to have an investment like that? Can you make money? Want to find out? Come along. Right now in Mammoth Lakes, there are 49 properties on the market, ranging from $450,000 to $6.75 million. So as you can see, all price ranges in Mammoth are available. And last year, 416 properties sold in Mammoth Lakes. If you ask me, that is a hot market, more than one a day. It was absolutely on fire. Right now, pretty much everywhere in Southern California has definitely taken, well, it's definitely slowed down, days on market, etc. Of the 49 homes on the market right now in Mammoth, 33 have been on the market for over 45 days. 45 days a year ago was an eternity. Right now, 45 days is about standard and it's rising. And of these 49 homes, 13 have had a price reduction. Usually after about 30 to 45 days, um, homes have price reductions. So expect to see more price reductions coming up. Now, what does that mean for an investor like you? Well, if you ask me, that's great. Right now, maybe you can get in there and get a good price. Yes, interest rates are higher than this time last year. We all know that. But lenders are gonna refinance you for free in a year or 18 months when prices drop. I went on to Airbnb and put in Mammoth to see what numbers they come up with. And as you can see here, they say that if you have an Airbnb in Mammoth Lakes, you can expect to rent that for about 64% of the year and make about $59,000 a year. Now, Airbnb are using one bedrooms all the way up to you know the big mansions to get this data. I would always advise not to buy a one bedroom condo as an investment for an Airbnb. Generally, a lot of people going up with their friends, going up with their family and young kids, and a one bedroom just isn't gonna cut it. And I just don't think it's a great investment. So today, I'm gonna use two bedrooms and upwards. Because of that, um, the price point goes up, and I have a feeling it's gonna be more than $59,000 a year. Um, so why don't we get to it right now? If you're liking this video, please like and subscribe. I do videos every week on what it's like to live in Southern California. So if that's what you're looking for, hope to see you at my next video. So when I did my research on a 650,000, basically two bedroom condo, over the year, yes, you charge more in the winter period than in the summer period. But if you take that um, average price throughout the year, you're looking at about $325 a night take home. On top of that is a cleaning fee. I'm guessing you're gonna use that cleaning fee, so I've not included that. Also on top of that is the Airbnb fee, so I'm not including that either. I'm just including the $325 a night you can make. 
Okay, we just broke the record up in Mammoth, 668 inches of snow this season. As you can see, it's coming down. An hour ago, there was no snow. Now there must be a foot. We're gonna get another two feet maybe. Hope you guys appreciate me out here doing the video. It's pretty cold, snow's coming down, but if it means getting a great video for you guys, obviously I'm gonna do that. So if you take that $325 a night, times it by 223, which is what Airbnb say 64% occupancy through the year, you get around $70,000. I'm making an even number, easy to do math. $70,000 in income that you have in your pocket. Now, if you put 25% down on $650, uh, $1,000 condo. I've added a $500 uh, HOA for condos. Some have less amount, some have more. So I've just done, averaged it out at $500 a month. And I've used a 6% interest rate. Hopefully they'll go lower, but right now I'm just using 6%. Let's be conservative. Now, with that all input, along with your insurance and property taxes, you're gonna be paying $4,300 a month. So you're gonna be bringing in six, and spending 43. So basically you're gonna be making about $1,700 a month. So over the course of the year, $20,000 a year profit. Now, is that a lot? Is that enough? $650,000, 25% down. Does $20,000 for the year kind of get you excited? Yes, you can use the Airbnb when it's empty. That's always nice. If you go up there two, three times a year, that obviously saves you some money there. Um, but yeah, you're looking to make about 20 grand. And if you own an Airbnb, guess what? You get to use it for free and ski this amazing mountain. See you later. Now, what happens if you buy an $850,000 condo? Is the investment better? Well, once again, you've got to put 25% down. And from what I um, saw through researching, you don't charge that much more, to be honest. 650,000, you charge about 325 a night. Uh, 850,000, they're bringing in about $350 a night. So if you take that $350, times it by 223, you're making about $6,000 a month, $78,000 a year. Now, if you get a mortgage, 25% down. Mortgage, everything included, HOA, all that good stuff is about $5,500 a month. You're bringing in 6,000. So if you buy an $850,000 Airbnb, you're really only uh, making $6,000 a year. So right now, a $650,000 investment is actually gonna make you more money than buying something more expensive. So what about if you have a lot of cash to drop, say $1.7 million. Like I said, I recently stayed in one for 1.9 million they bought it for. Couldn't believe how much they were charging. So I looked at $1.7 million Airbnbs. Now they're single family homes now. You don't have an HOA. That saves you $500 a month right there. And these single family homes are renting for about $700 a night before you add on the cleaning fee and the Airbnb tax. So that's $700 a night in your pocket. Now, $700 times 223, which is the 64% occupancy, which Airbnb website says, you're making $163,000 a year in income. Now, if you're buying this with a mortgage, say you're putting 25% down, standard on an investment. If I crunch the numbers, um, as you can see here, I'm using the Redfin mortgage calculator. Your mortgage is gonna cost you about $115,000 a year. So your income is 163,000, your mortgage is 115,000, so you're profiting about $48,000 a year, $4,000 a month. So my take from this, if you can find yourself a two bedroom condo for around 600, $650,000, it doesn't break the bank, you can put some money into real estate, which I always recommend. It's gonna appreciate, especially a mammoth, like I said, the Ritz are building homes there right now. And if the Ritz are building homes, you know it's gonna get fancy. And the more fancy the village gets, um, the higher the prices of real estate are gonna go. So I think if you can find a place for $600,000, $650,000, you can make $20,000 a year, but you've got the appreciation. I'm not saying buy and sell in five years. This is a 10 year plan if you ask me. You get the appreciation, you get the depreciation, 
You also get to use it for free. It's super expensive to stay up there right now. So you get to use this for free two, three weeks a year. How much money is that saving you? A good amount. I also did a video on Big Bear recently, kind of answering the same questions. Does it make sense to buy an Airbnb in Big Bear? Go check that out if you wanna see what an investment there for less money can get you. Um, but yeah, the prices of Mammoth the last five years have skyrocketed. If you had bought in Mammoth five years ago, congratulations, what a great investment that would have been. But you can still buy up there, you can still make a profit, you can still get cash flow, and you can still get appreciation. And you're buying in brick and mortar. And right now with the banks collapsing, who knows what's happening with the stock market, with Bitcoin, I truly believe buying in real estate will always be your best investment. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, please reach out, comment below if I've missed anything. Uh, more than happy to help. I have some great referrals in Mammoth if you are looking for an agent. But like I said, reach out to me, happy to answer any questions. I hope to hear from you.